it just kept bothering me that there wasn't any clear connection to the guy on the right. I mean, you know if something nefarious like this is going down, he's going to have his fingers in it. He's not going to be more than a couple degrees away. But it just kept escaping me. So I decided to go back, re-examine everything from the beginning, break it all down to brass tacks. We know why the Fitzgerald was there. It's why all the, all the DDGs are there. It's the anti-ballistic missile mission, North Korea. We know that the Russians and the Chinese are in bed together. Last video demonstrated how the Filipinos played in. But I think I figured it out, and here we go. It goes to this, our good old Arleigh Burke class destroyer. You know, here in Florida, we have a lot of helicopters, and they run on these gas turbine engines. And one of the things that had bothered me so much about this ship, the Fitzgerald being even dead in the water, um, with the amount of power it has, it got hit dead, dead on in the center, which means it only had to have moved 300 feet to get out of the way. And with this kind of power, that shouldn't have been hard. You, you could almost get a guy, guys out with paddles and, and row 200 feet. I know that's overstating the case, but that's all that would have had to have happened. And if the crystal was really trying to miss them, from a mile or two away, it would have only taken a course correction of a few degrees. I mean, something three miles away, let's say, for example, you know, that's only 500 feet wide if it's setting literally right directly across your path. You know, you only have to move the front of the ship a few degrees to miss 300 feet one way or the other. And even for a big container ship, that wouldn't have been hard. That's why this is so hard to believe that this actually happened the way they said it did. But, I digress. The engines. Why would have they had the engines shut down even on a DDG mission? Which is what you would have to expect here. So, I flipped around good old YouTube... And I found this guy talking about how gas turbine engines work. And I found this little blurb, and I want you guys to listen to this. So as the military engine, you'll have a second part. The bypass here will be very small, and it's usually just there to kind of get cool air around the exhaust to cover up any infrared signature as best you can. But after the turbine, you have a series of holes. Did you catch that? Cover up any infrared signature as best as you can. So, if there's somebody out there watching who actually has some experience with the LM2500 turbine, maybe they could enlighten us as it, to if they have these particular extra channels on the outside to keep the heat signature down. There's only one reason I can think they would have had the engine shut down. Is to not have them putting off an infrared signature. Now, you ready for this? This is an article from June of 2016. A year ago. Russia's two newest classes of submarines, the Yazin class, multipurpose, and the Borai class, nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine, are expected to be fitted with a new deep water heat seeking torpedo by 2017. And you can read through this. This is the Diplomat, um, Russia's deadly subs. I'm sure that'll get you there. I am very much seriously wondering now if the USS Fitzgerald had a fear as did all DDGs in the area of a Russian sub that could lock onto them solely based on the heat signature generated by their engines and that would explain why the Fitz could have been dead in the water with her engines off. And the reason I mentioned the thing about the helicopters earlier 
is it takes a little bit of time to start up a gas turbine engine. It's not like just turning a key over and you got power, put her in gear and you know hit the pedal and go away. There's a whole procedure to starting up one of those engines. It's preheating chambers and I would like, I would like to ask, I should say, I know I have someone out here in my audience that is an expert on gas turbine engines because they mentioned it many, many videos ago, and I couldn't find the comment to ask this person specifically. So I am sure someone out there is listening to this, but I think we have another piece to the puzzle. That is the only way I could see the ship being dead in the water, engines off, is if it were trying to reduce its heat signature to avoid this brand new class of torpedo that the Russians have now. And this would have been right in line with their alliance with the Chinese. This is what they would have been doing. So, anyway, um, probably a little bit shorter video, but I just wanted to put this out there and let the audience chew this theory over and bring your knowledge and experience and wisdom to the table for the polite, thoughtful conversation that we're having. So like, share, subscribe. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. The channel's getting ready to cross 5,000 subscribers, which to me, given that less than a month ago we only had 700, um, to me is humbling. So we will see you next time, and thank you very, very much.